Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for gshelper.com and in this video I'm going to show you a really cool Adobe Illustrator technique um, to create a seamless swatch. So if you're like making a background and you want the same pattern through the whole thing and you don't want it to look um, unprofessional, you want it to be seamless and smooth through the whole thing, uh, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So what I've done is I've created a new project that's uh, 40 pixels by 40 pixels. Uh, I just went uh, just went file new and put 4040 and I'll show you what actual size of 4040 is that's about the actual size of 4040 and um, you can make it as big as you want um, so what I've done is I've created some shapes you can use anything you can use pictures you can use shapes you can use words um, the technique is the same no matter what you use so I got I got myself a bunch of different ones that I want to use and uh, the first thing you're going to do is go to the square square tool, rectangle, and you're going to hit the, the corner of this, and you're going to click and let go. And you're going to choose 40 and 40. And the reason why we're using 40, 40 is because that's the width of our square. So it puts a square there. We're just going to uh, convert it here, choose a color for it. So we have our color red, no, no border. And um, now we're going to start moving our shapes over. So I'm going to start here, and uh, the first shape I'm going to put is about right here. And I'm going to bring it to the front. I'm going to bring all my shapes to the front. So I'm going to select all my shapes and go Object, Arrange, Bring to Front. And it's very important that um, because we're doing the sides here, that we don't go over the top here. Um, and I'll show you why after. So I got one here. I'm going to drag another one on. Uh, Alt, drag. And uh, just make another copy of that over there. And let's bring uh, this one over here, Alt drag. And I'm going to put that like right there. And a small one, Alt drag. Put that right there. So you see, I didn't use the top corner, didn't use the bottom corner. So now I'm going to select these ones here without selecting my background. And I'm going to press Command C, Command F. And what that does is it makes a copy. All right. Now we're going to go in to the transform section. And if you don't have transform, go to window and then choose uh, transform. And then you'll have this section here and you'll see there's an X and a Y. Well, because we're going to we want to bring these the copy of these over here, we're going to use the X. So I'm going to click at the end of the X where it says PT and I'm going to go plus 40 because we want to move over 40 pixels. I'm going to hit enter. And as you see, it takes our copy and brings it over 40 pixels. Now we're going to do our corners. Uh, I'm going to grab this one here, put it in the, the corner here. And again, you're going to notice I didn't cross this side. Um, just left it up there. And I'm going to grab this one here. I'm going to do this corner. And again, I didn't go over this side here. And then down here... Um, drag this over here. Okay. And actually, no, nope, delete that one. We're just doing the top first. Um, so I'm going to drag, you know, this there. And maybe this one here. And another small one here. So we have this. Again, I didn't grab the square part. I'm going to press Command C, Command F again. And this time we want to go down, and that's the Y axis. And because we're going down, it's going to be negative 100. So minus 100. If we were going up, it would be plus 100. Or it's not 100, 40. So minus 40, because we're going down. If, you wanted to go, if you're doing the bottom first and you're going up, you do plus 40. So I'm going to hit Enter. And it's very important that you make sure nothing overlaps. So these aren't overlapping here, these aren't overlapping here. So we did good. Now we want to fill in our centers. And that doesn't really matter what we do. So I'm going to take this and you know put it here and take this big one. Put it somewhere in there. A couple small ones here. Now I'm just doing this quick. You can take more time, you know, make it look perfect for yourself. But for the video, I'm just going to rush this. Let's put some small ones around. And we're 
We're almost done. Let's get another one of these in here. Let's see if we can s fit one here. That's pretty good. So I'm going to get rid of my extras over here. And now we're going to take this red swatch and we're going to deselect the color. So we're going to hit this one with the line there so there's no color to it. And we're going to go object, arrange, send to back because we want that square to be at the very back. Now you're going to select everything including the square. And then we're going to drag it into the swatches area. So now you'll see it made my swatch. So now I'm going to delete that. I'm going to zoom out here. And I'm going to make a background. So let's pretend this is our background for an iPad game. Oh, first of all, I don't want to. First of all, I'll delete that. I don't want to show you what it looks like yet. So I'm going to select first a color. Then I'm going to make a big iPad background area here. So we got a red. And now we're going to apply our swatch. So we want another copy of this red. So we're going to press Command C and Command F to make another copy. And then we're going to choose our swatch. And there you go. Now you can see it's a perfect, flawless, seamless background. And you can use that for your um, iPad games for backgrounds, or you can do something else that's cool. We can go ahead and take our text, and I'm going to write something, gshelper.com. And I'm going to turn that red. Then press Command C, Command F to make a second copy. And I'll hit our swatch. And there you go. So now you can apply that swatch to anything you make. Um, you can do a lot of cool stuff. Like I said before, you can you know, fill your little square with words and uh, different shapes. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, it'll all give you the same seamless effect. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Head on over to GS Helper and um, you know check out the rest of my videos. I have some cool free files there for you. Uh, and also follow me on Twitter at GS Helper. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video.